Hey guys, what's up? Bars Crusader here. And so today I'm, I'm going to be showing you the infamous five minute uh, ceiling creation method that surfaced during the last minigame weekend where there was double ceiling creation points. I did use this to get um, just about 15 mil bonus XP, so it is. Uh, so for two days, that is quite a bit of bonus XP, of course. And so basically, it consists of a team of, um, you know, main accounts and a team of alternative accounts. And um, Jagex has made a number of recent posts about um, multi-logging. And basically, what they say is that you can multi-log now, and as long as you don't break any other Jagex rules, then it's absolutely fine. So um, obviously that's a little bit ambiguous, but I pretty much interpret that as as long as I'm not botting or real world trading, then it's absolutely fine for me. So that's what I did, of course. And um, so basically, what happens is because um, gathering clay from class four is pretty much the fastest way to do so, and basically you just want to maximize the time that you're doing that as opposed to any other class. And um, Obviously, you should be averaging 20 points per game, and pretty much with the volatile tool, which is what you should be uh, using it on, then that is um, 29k-ish um, XP per game. So again, 29 um, times, assuming that you can do uh, 20 games an hour, because uh, the method I'm going to be showing you is actually a three-minute game, and that's basically over 580k bonus XP per hour. So that's absolutely ridiculous, of course. And um, again, you can use these for skills such as uh, fishing, woodcutting, and any number of things to save yourself both time and money. So without further ado, here goes the vid. All right, so on to the role of the main account. Basically, as soon as the game starts, you want to look for the closest uh, class four resource. So in this case, it ended up being all the way in the very northwest corner. So it did take a couple seconds here to find. Uh, but basically, once you are on it, you want all um, members of your friend's chat on it and basically the first person to get um, a clay from it will go to the nearest kiln to make the corresponding equipment so of course for a rock I would make a pickaxe and I did end up being the first one to get it here so you can see that and now um, once you have your equipment made then basically you just want to be a team player uh, if you see other members of your friend's chat uh, that are still trying to get their first one then just you know just be and give it to them and, uh, and obviously all you have to do is uh, left click use it on them and uh, they should get it of course they do have to have their aid on so if they don't then uh, say they're a noob and uh, hurry up and get that the hell on um, and then from there you know pretty straightforward just keep gathering resources uh, until you're all until the C4 resources all out and um, at some point, you should move your alternative account up to your main account so that you can pickpocket um, your alternative account for that. Uh, for those extra scrolls, of course, because extra scrolls equals extra points. And then once you have done that, um, then just keep gathering resources. And then when the timer uh, starts, then basically, I like to leave about 25 to 30 seconds for myself to deposit all of them. Just because, you know, there is lag, and, um, you know, there's there could be a number of things that could happen, and the worst possible situation is that you get all of, all of those scrolls made, but you don't deposit it, because basically you'll get a really crappy score. And, um, yeah, so when you do fill up on uh, your clay, of course, then what you want to do is you want to make one familiar pouch and then convert the rest into scrolls. And then from there, um, once it is those last couple of seconds, then what you want to do is store everything into your familiar and then um, so your equipment and then your scrolls of course and then from there take out one of your scrolls and then cast the clay deposit and then that will convert all of your, point, all of your uh, points it's because so obviously you don't want to have to run back to your base because that just eats up at unnecessary time and as you can see I at, you, sh you should average 20 points per game and um, that's pretty much it for the account, uh, for the role of the main account. And now on to the role of your alternative account, it's pretty easy. So um, after a couple seconds, after um, you know your main account finds its C4 resource, then basically you just want to collect some tier 1 resources now and just fill it up. Um, obviously tier 1 because you know most alternative accounts aren't very high level at all, so you're better off just going with the basics. 
And then once uh, your inventory does fill up with 28, then what you want to do is um, turn that all into scrolls and then head over to your main account and then allow yourself to be pickpocketed and from there just um, log out into the lobby and of course after all members of the alternative account FC log out then there will be a one minute timer from there and um, yeah that's pretty much it. And so just to dispel any rumors that this may be considered bug abuse then um, consider that drum gun was doing it. <laughs> I was actually in this uh, French set doing SC during the weekend. But um, besides that, there were a number of high level forum posts about this during the actual minigame weekend. So, you know, Jax had multiple opportunities to fix this, but they didn't. And basically, that's just a free invitation to exploit the hell out of this thing. And uh, so, anyways, that's the video. Hope you guys liked it. So, like this video if you liked it, of course. Comment with any comments. Subscribe for more content. And as always, stay fishing, my friends.